Is your chlorine disappearing faster than you can add it? Is your pool somewhere with a lot of sun? Or do you have a saltwater pool? If so, you might have a cyanuric acid problem, which is also known as CYA. Hi, I'm Matt from Swim University, and I've been helping pool owners for over 30 years. And cyanuric acid is just one of those things that's tough to get at first, but it's so important to the health of your pool. So when your CYA is off, it can destroy your chlorine. And without good chlorine, you've got an unsanitary pool. So first, what exactly is cyanuric acid? Well, cyanuric acid goes by many names. It's CYA, chlorine stabilizer, or pool conditioner. It's basically a protective shield for chlorine molecules. It prevents your chlorine from breaking down in direct sunlight. And without CYA in the water, the sun's UV rays will destroy about half your chlorine in just 17 minutes. That's why you might notice your chlorine levels dropping faster on sunny days. Now, since CYA binds to chlorine molecules, it helps keep them in reserve until it's needed. And that buffer Buffering means the water feels less harsh. So with CYA in the water, your chlorine lasts longer, it works more effectively, and you might have less skin and eye irritation if all of your other levels are balanced. So what are the right CYA levels? Well, the ideal range is between 30 and 50 parts per million. Pools exposed in intense sun and heat might need more CYA. Now, completely indoor pools need zero or low CYA levels. Even if there's no sun, CYA can still help buffer that chlorine harshness, but it's not allowed in some indoor pool settings, so I would check your local regulations for this one. Once you add CYA to the water, it really should just stay there. It doesn't actually fluctuate as much as the other levels like pH, but it does break down in the long run, especially in extremely hot weather. So for example, if it's over 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside or 32 degrees Celsius and your pool gets extreme sunlight exposure, you're probably gonna lose about 10 parts per million of CYA each month. So plan to test your CYA at least once a month. But here's the key. It's not just about the CYA level itself. It's actually the ratio between your cyanuric acid and your free chlorine that actually matters. Too much CYA without enough chlorine or vice versa can impact your chlorine's effectiveness. Now your free chlorine level should be 7.5% of your cyanuric acid levels. So if your CYA is at 40 parts per million, you'll need to keep your free chlorine at three parts per million to effectively sanitize your water. If your CYA is a bit lower, like 30 parts per million, you'll want a little over two parts per million of free chlorine. And if it's higher at say 50 parts per million, your free chlorine should be about 3.75 or four parts per million. Now I know this is a lot of math and it can feel like very confusing water chemistry, but once you start keeping your CYA and free chlorine levels in the right balance, it'll come easier over time, I promise. And if you wanna have all of this information written down in one place, I recommend checking out the pool care handbook at swimu.com slash book, or you can use any of the links below. We have an entire section on cyanuric acid and every other chemistry level that you need to know about. So what happens when your cyanuric acid is too low? Well, if your CYA levels are below 30 parts per million, you've essentially got naked chlorine. That's chlorine with no protection from the sun. That means that your chlorine disappears quickly, especially in the sun. Algae can start growing since the chlorine is gone and you'll waste money on chemicals replacing that chlorine. Now, if your cyanuric acid levels are too high, say above 50 parts per million, you get the opposite problem. Your chlorine becomes too protected. It's there, but it can't do its job effectively. That means that your chlorine's not gonna work as well on contaminants. You'll need more free chlorine in the water to work, and your alkalinity and pH will drop because cyanuric acid is just that. It's an acid. Okay, so here's how to raise your cyanuric acid. If your CYA levels are too low, you have two options. Option one, you can add pool stabilizer directly. You can buy cyanuric acid as a standalone product, usually called pool stabilizer or chlorine stabilizer. Add it directly to your pool according to the manufacturer's instructions. But keep in mind that it's an acid, so add it slowly to the water and don't let undissolved granules settle on your pool surfaces. Your CYA readings may take longer to register than other chemicals, so don't keep adding more stabilizer until you've retested your water in about a day or two. Option number two is to use stabilized chlorine. Most chlorine products already contain cyanuric acid. Trichlor tablets, the most common three inch chlorine pucks, and dichlor granules are both stabilized, meaning that they add CYA every single time you use them. If you're using stabilized chlorine regularly, you probably don't need to add CYA at all, but you wanna watch out for high levels in the long run. Trichlor tablets will continuously add CYA to the water until your levels get too high. Now, what if you need to lower cyanuric acid? 
Well, unfortunately, there's really only one effective way to lower CYA levels, and that's to dilute your pool water. Cyanuric acid doesn't break down or evaporate. It stays in the water until you partially drain and refill your pool. So you can stop adding stabilized chlorine products like tablets that'll keep making things worse and switch to liquid chlorine, which doesn't contain CYA. Now, some pool owners find that alternating between trichlor tablets and liquid chlorine works pretty well. But what about those CYA reducers? Now, you might see those products claim to reduce cyanuric acid levels. These are bio-based products that work slowly and have kind of mixed results. They're expensive and can take weeks to show any effect. But for most pool owners, a partial drain and a refill is way more reliable and often cost about the same. Finally, here's a note on saltwater pools and why they tend to need more CYA. Many saltwater pool manufacturers recommend keeping your CYA between 60 and 80 parts per million instead of the 30 to 50 parts per million. Higher CYA helps to prevent your saltwater system from working so hard. Your generator ends up working more to maintain your chlorine levels during periods of high sunlight exposure. CYA helps it to work less and extend the life of your salt cell since it doesn't need to make up for that loss of chlorine. You'll maintain consistent sanitizing without constantly battling UV breakdown. Just remember the 7.5% ratio. If your CYA is higher, like 60 parts per million, your free chlorine should be a little higher as well, like 4.5 parts per million. And if you need more help with water chemistry and balancing your pool, I recommend checking out our other video on pool chemistry basics, or you can get the pool care handbook here at swimu.com book, or you can use any of the links below. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.